Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rosie and I'm too high up. I am bringing you a bit of a wardrobe tour today. I thought I really need to transition my wardrobe from winter to spring summer and I thought I would show you guys because I was just going to do it and then I thought, well, no, why not film it? It's quite interesting. I love watching super nosy videos like this um, of what people have in their wardrobe. And um, yeah, I'm not getting anything new. I'm just getting all the things out of my summer storage and putting all the winter things into my winter storage. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'm going to zoom in now into my wardrobe so you can see what's currently in there. So this is currently my wintery wardrobe. I've got lots of chunky knits, a couple of coats and jackets and things, um, and then like wintery dresses. And yeah, we are gonna get rid of as much of the wintry stuff as possible. Before I properly get into it, I just wanted to say I am trying to cut back and do the minimalism thing and keep things as simple as possible. So I will be getting rid of stuff. I'm gonna have a no pile, a storage pile, and um, a back in the wardrobe summer pile. So I'm gonna get out the items now and show you what I've got. And hopefully um, we will get somewhere with this. I have two kind of smart wintry coats and one thick waterproof coat. Um, and one's a camel colour and one is black. I'm not going to show you those. They're just going to stay in my wardrobe. The first top I've just found, this wasn't in my wardrobe and it's currently inside out. But um, this is a wintry top, probably one of the only tops that I have of any colour. And I should probably say that. I don't wear much colour at all. I tend to wear dusty colours like this and like khaki if I do wear colour or pastels. Um, like mint and pastel pinks um, but everything else is grey, blue, I don't know why I just said grey, blue, grey, black and white. Um, this top I'm going to put in storage for next year and I might get rid of it when I get it out again um, but we will see. So this is going to go straight into storage. This bomber jacket from Zara, I absolutely love it. It's reversible, it's black on one side and it's khaki on the other and it's perfect for spring summer. It's very, very versatile so I'm keeping that. Secondly is this Primark number. It, I, my sister actually gave me this recently. At the bottom it's got a little skirt, at the sides it's got a little zip detailing. I really like this but I'm going to put this in storage because I probably won't need it in the spring summer. Secondly is this jumper. Now if you watch my vlogs you will have seen me wear this all the time. Again it's a dusty colour um, and I literally love this. It was my friend's husband's um, and I got it from a clothes swap and I was going to give it to John but he said he wouldn't wear it and I literally love this colour. Every time I wear it somebody says oh that really suits you. So I just, um, I'm going to put this in storage. Next thing is this black knit. I really love this because it's so soft um, and I think I got this in a charity shop. Um, I buy a lot of stuff second hand because I think it's really important and um, yeah I really like this, it's got long ribbed detail at the bottom, I'm going to put this in storage because I mean having a black jumper always is handy but um, I just don't think I'm going to need it. This is currently inside out but it is a poncho with a big neck, big ruffle neck, roll neck and tassels at the bottom. Again, I don't, I just don't think I'll need that, so I'm going to put that in storage. Next is this um, sheepskin, it's not really sheepskin, it's by Steve Madden, and I literally love this. It's like suede, fake suede, fake sheepskin, um, and I probably will wear this in the spring and summer. It's got that like 70s, 80s vibe that I like. This is a big, big cosy knit, but it's essentially a Christmas jumper. So that can go into a storage. Next is my pack joy jumper. Um, I'm gonna put this in a maybe, I think. I might leave it in there and then potentially take it out if I have too many jumpers. But I love wearing this. I wear this around the house all the time. This is my friend's label. This is a little grey roll neck that I basically wore all winter. Um, but I think I'm gonna put that in storage. This is a plain kind of dusty blue um, jumper dress, it's really baggy. I really like this, it's been great in the winter. Um, I do feel a bit like Judy Dench when I wear it though. It's like one of those slightly older women <laughs> styles, but 
when I'm trying to be chic, but I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep wearing it anyway. Next is this Urban Outfitters dress, and um, I love this. I think lots of people don't really get it when I wear it, but um, I think this is quite like Scandinavian looking. Um, I just, I really like this, and that's from a brand called Session. I bought this for about £20, I think, in the Urban Outfitters sale, but it was originally 110 and you can tell because it's such beautiful kind of linen and beautiful quality. Next, next is this Gap Cream jumper with uh, like a lacy embroidery on it. Um, and this is gonna go in because it looks so nice with jean shorts. Next, I have a couple of midi skirts. I have a navy one, which is from Gap that I wear all the time and a black and white striped one. I'm gonna keep the navy one in because um, with like, with a little t-shirt tucked in, it looks so nice and some heels, it can look smart or you can wear it in the day. Um, I can just wear it with my mummy uniform. Um, but this is a bit more like wintry and Christmassy, I think. This is a, another colour piece. It's a really dusty grey. I love this and this looks really nice with denim shorts. I've got white denim shorts and um, blue denim shorts. And I think this is such a nice like beachy thing to wear. Everybody needs a denim shirt. This one's from Pull and Bear. And when I got it, it was so soft. It's losing its softness. So... I'm a bit gutted about that. It's really long. I just love the simpleness of the shirt. I'm gonna keep this in because it's quite good to wear instead of a jacket, like over t-shirts. I'm not doing very well, am I, at getting rid of stuff. This cardigan um, I've had for such a long time. It's only a cheapy Primark one, but I wore this when I gave birth to Ezra and I just can't get rid of it. It, it feels so sentimental to me and it's still really soft. Um, so I am going to put this in storage, but uh, I love it. I'm aware that in this whole minimalist game, you're not supposed to keep stuff for sentimental reasons, but I just can't get rid of that. Next is this thin jumper with um, like shirty bottom. I love this, it's really beautiful, I'm gonna keep that. Next, I've got this gray and white and black aztec -y design. And then I've got this gray and white stripes. They're both quite similar. I think I'm gonna actually get rid of one. So that is gonna go in the, I think this one is gonna go in the to get rid of pile, which is a bit sad because it's like a bit like one of the only patterny things. Oh, I don't know, maybe I'll put them both in storage. <laughs> I suck at get rid of clothes. I feel like it's so easy to get rid of everything else, like home stuff, um, yeah, like shoes, but just it's just clothes that I find really hard. I love this tucked into that navy skirt, but it's long sleeved, and again, I think um, I wear this all the time, so I'm gonna definitely put that in storage. A white shirt always looks very chic in the summer, so I'm gonna keep that. It definitely needs an iron, and if I don't iron it, I won't wear it, so I'm gonna say if I haven't like ironed it in a week, I'll get rid of it, but I love it. I really like this. It was like, when I remember when I first saw this in the shop, I was like, that's the perfect white shirt. And I like saved to buy it, cause that's what I do. <laughs> and then I've got this blue shirt um, that my sister actually gave me quite recently. It's just from New Look, but it's got a mark on it. I didn't realize when I got it um, and it wouldn't come out. And I've also got that other denim shirt, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, another shirt that I really need to iron, but this is a gray, um, very soft cotton shirt and I love this so much. This is my Cabbages and Roses dress. Um, this is like one of my only smart things that I own for um, wearing to church or to um, a christening or something. Um, I wouldn't wear this to a wedding, it's not quite right for that, but uh, I love it. Lastly, I have this long sleeved gray simple number. It's from Zara Home, I believe. Zara Home, they do like a loungewear and it's just something that I wear at home with the boys and I love it, it's got a really low swooping neck so it's nice with any detail underneath um, and I'm keeping this in my summer wardrobe because this with shorts looks lovely um, and then I've got this kind of um, gingham black white uh, with a pendulum sleeve detailing and then I just bought this from a charity shop um, and it's got these pendulum sleeves again and a pretty lace detailing. Um, I really like both of those. They're both quite um, pretty, like nice occasional wear. Then um, the last two are just some fairly plain t-shirts. 
This one, again, it needs an iron. These bits should all be facing down, really. But I really like that. It's kind of a bit um, Scandi cool. Hashtag Scandi cool. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. And then just a plain V-neck V neck tee. And lastly, I have this white, long, 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 super long um, t-shirt that I love to wear with ripped jeans and some trainers. I think it looks really nice. Uh, so that is going back in. I haven't even got the summer stuff out yet and I've still got a lot. How many items have I got? Okay, so I've already got 19 items. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take out this pack joy one that I was umming and ahhing about. And I'm gonna take out this gray shirt because I've got the white one. So this is what it looks like as 19 items and I'm just going to get my summer bits out and show you. Okay, so I've still got this big um, vacuum pack bag to go through. I have a feeling though I'm going to get rid of quite a few bits so we we'll shall see. I just realised a lot of this stuff needs ironing but I'm going to put it in anyway for the sake of this video. This is a blue and white striped off the shoulder um, t-shirt that was so in last year. It's got these long sleeves with the bow um, and... I bought this for a holiday in Italy and it just reminds me of that. I'm definitely keeping this. Next is this little um, H&M vest. Now, for the times, it very rarely gets really, really hot in England. But this is something that's really good for those times because it's so flowy and I like the pattern, actually. And I don't really wear lots of patterns, so it's good. I need to keep that. I completely forgot about this. I've got this chevron grey and black and white dress. Ooh, so yeah, I'm going to put this in because this is just a casual one that I would feel fine wearing any old day. Next is another pattern item and this is a skirt that I bought a few years back from Primark and it's lasted me forever. Um, but it's one of those things that it's not really in fashion so it won't go out of fashion. Um, and it, I just love the colours, the black and the... Um, peach pink so that is gonna stay I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep that but I am some white shorts these definitely need an iron but I wear these all the time Um, I've just found a pretty little vest top with um, like a plat plaited edge and that's from H&M but I think I'm gonna get rid of that just because I've got a lot of this top which has a frilly v-neck line I like. Again this needs an iron, they've obviously just come out of storage. Burnt orange top, I'm I'm not sure about this, I'm gonna get that, get rid of that. This is a skirt, um, a, like mid-length skirt with white frills. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna fit into this anymore, I think I've put on a bit of weight but I don't care. Um, I think I'm I'm going to iron this and see if I like it. So here is the finished look and it just looks a lot like lighter and brighter. I've got a bit of mint in there, a bit more white, still a bit of black because I like wearing black in the summer. So there are 22 items currently hanging which for me is so good and um, as well as the a few bits and pieces downstairs that are in the wash, um, I have some trousers and a drawer which I will show you. Um, so. The bottoms here are two pairs of shorts that you've already seen. One pair of black jeans that are slightly faded that I need to get one of those like black things that you make them blacker again. I have this denim skirt but I don't think I'm going to keep that, that's going to go. My Hollister jeans, they've got a hole in the crotch, they're going to go. These are my painting jeans, I love getting like um, creative and painting furniture and I always wear these jeans if I'm painting. So yeah, black black jeans and then I'm wearing blue jeans Woo! Um, and I have another backup black back so two blacks blue jeans a white and a denim short that is loads and then I've got some skirt and dresses in there that is so much okay I think I'm all right with that though So this is my drawer, drawer. I honestly suck at folding. Con Mary would have a fit if she saw this, whatever her name is. Um, so I have a grey long sleeve. I don't know if you can see that. I have a grey long sleeve basic top, a pink one, a white one, two black vests, because they're handy for everything. And then I'm wearing a white vest. 
I've got a pair of trackies because I think it's really important to put on your trackies when you get home from a hard day. Um, I have a hoodie. This again is a sentimental thing. I've had this for about 10 years and I just love wearing it on lazy days. Um, some, and then some pyjamas and a onesie. I hope you have enjoyed watching this little wardrobe tour. It's a bit of a different video to what I would normally do, but I really enjoyed filming this. Um, and I hope you found it interesting and enjoyed being nosy about what I wear. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I would love to know if you want more of these kind of videos or if you prefer like the mummy vlogs. Um, so either leave me a comment, give this a thumbs up. I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. You hear Saxon dance.